Hello everyone, this is our Wheatley 0206 and it's time for another Comic Community Want List video. So it's Friday night, well, it's Friday late afternoon and uh, I want to get this recorded so I can get it uploaded hopefully late tonight so you guys can see it tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go through the entire want list again. Now I had a little trouble with my printer. So I wanted to print this out because uh, I've updated um, I've updated it on the computer but I'm having some problems with my uh, printer and it's looking a little weird but so I'm not going to show well I'm going to show that one just because I think you can make out the comic because uh, I talked to Metarog and the book that I have on the list for the Atari Waterworks comic uh, I had the wrong one on there. <laughs> so, I do have a picture of that one. It's not a good picture because, like I said, my printer was screwing up. And, uh, so, anyway, let's get started. Uh, we got Comic Geek McD, Batman the Killing Joke, first printing. Looks like that. He also is looking for Batman Annual number 25 from May of 2006. Let me get my other hand over here so I can hold this thing still. Okay. Metarog. Still looking for Marvel Spotlight. Number 5. In any complete condition. And it looks like that. It's got uh, um, Ghost Rider on it. But you can see at the top it says... Marvel Spotlight above, whoops, yeah, above Ghost Rider. Okay. Okay, and another one he's looking for is The Incredible Hulk, Volume 1, number 377. Third printing. And there you have it. I've seen this on a few people's uh, videos here lately, so, so I thought that was pretty cool. Alright, that's page one. Now, page two is where we had to make a correction. And I'll get to that in a second. Metarog is also looking for Fantastic Four, Volume 1, Number 110. Uh, the Error Cover. Looks like this. It's got some green in areas that's supposed to be kind of an orange or a tan color, like on uh, the thing down there at the bottom. Uh, Superman Mail Edition, 443. And that's the mail edition with the name of the mall in the UPC, like Rhode Island Mall or Fiesta Mall. And this is a this is a print of the one from Fiesta Mall. I don't know how well you can read that at the bottom left corner of that comic, but that's the symbol for Fiesta Mall. Okay. Uh, let's see, Batman Superpowers mini book with Burger King logo. And I didn't find one of the actual Batman book, but there's the Burger King logo that he's looking for on the mini comic. And the mini comic, I think, still looks like the one that I showed several weeks ago. But mine doesn't have the Burger King logo. Okay, here's where we had a problem. Atari Waterworks comic. The comic that came with the game, that's the one I had on there, but that's not it. <laughs> It is this one. So that is the comic book that he's looking for. Alright. Okay. So now you know what to look for. So I'm going to stick that in there with that. Okay. Escargo T80. Any old school Hughes books. Okay. Simply Incredible Podcast. Arkham Asylum Series 2 Bane Figure. From DC Direct. Mint in box and under $75. And if I can get a good view of this. That's what the figure looks like in the package. Very cool looking figure. Alright. Who's your nerd? Marvel Kiss Comic Number 2. 
Also, any comic from December of 1968. And this is what the KISS comic looks like. Okay. Now we go to my list, and I'll go over this kind of quick. Batman, Volume 1, number 227, of course. Completing at least a 4.0. And there's the beauty right there. I love that cover. I will have it. Now, Batman, Volume 1, number 232. Same criteria. The green Rachel Ghoul cover. Beautiful cover, beautiful cover. Also, Batman 234. Same criteria. And it's the Two Face cover. Ah, uh, focus. There we go. Looks like that. Alright. Batman 680. Volume 1, of course. Tony Daniels variant. Looks like this. I would like that one. I didn't put it on here, but I'd like that one in like a 7.5 or better. Okay. Batman, the man who laughs. First printing. This one right here. And I think I uh, may have that coming from another YouTuber. Uh, Farley left me a message saying that he had this. So, Far Farley's Nerd Cave, that is. So, I may be marking this one off the list soon. Alright? Next. Detective Comics, Volume 1, 395. Complete and at least a 5.0. Love that cover. Detective Comics, 400. Completing at least a 5.0. Has Man Bat on the cover, along with Batman, of course. Detective Comics 402, same criteria. Also a Man Bat cover. Detective Comics 866, completing at least an 8.0. And, whoa, got a little closer, didn't I? And it looks like that. Okay? Whoa. Getting a little too close to the camera. Next up, House of Mystery. Volume 1, number 191. Completing at least a 6.0. There you have it. And then Superman vs. Muhammad Ali, that's C-56, uh, completing at least a 4.0, beautiful Treasury Edition book. Amazing Spider-Man, Volume 1, number 361, first printing, complete, and at least a 7.0. I think everybody's probably familiar with that book. Okay, Salvation Run, number 7. Neil Adams Variant, complete and at least an 8.0. I love that book. Okay, next up. Like I said, I'm trying to get through this rather quick tonight. <coughs> this is also another one on my list. Amazing Spider-Man, number 112. One that I had when I was a kid. Completing at least a 4.0. And it's the, uh, well, this thing will focus. Come on. There we go. Spidey cops out at the bottom there. All right, let's go to someone else. Reader 1717. Blu-ray movies. Any kind of Blu-ray movies, but especially the never-ending story Toy Story 1 and 2, and Scream. Tomb of Comics, The Incredible Hulk, number 181. Any condition but intact. And I'm sure most of you know what it looks like, but hey, there it is. Beautiful book. 
And he would also like Iron Man number 76. Uh, you know what? Okay, never mind. Uh, for some reason, I'm thinking he might have found that. But anyway, there it is. So, Tuma Comics. Um, for some reason, I'm thinking that you might have found that and I didn't mark it down. Or somebody had it and you were getting it from someone or whatever. Just let me know in the comments if, if you're still looking for that. I'll leave it on here. Uh, but I, for some reason, I was thinking you might have already got that one. So, okay. Now that's <laughs> supposed to say Robert, the comic book G Spot Galvin, that I left off the T. Uh, Amazing Spider Man, Volume 1, Number 101. Also, any first series Silver Surfer and any first series Submariner. But there is the Amazing Spider Man book. There you go. Okay. Jeff Comics, or Jeff Comic 813. Vampirella number one. Any grade. There you go. And also, uh, Vampirella, uh, the one in 50 Alex Ross cover. Now, I don't have a picture of that yet. So, anyway, he's looking for that one. Also, Evil Ernie number one, any grade, he certainly does look evil. <laughs> All right, Captain Dadpool is looking for X-23, target X number one. There you have it. I have seen a few of these on eBay here lately. So, uh, let's see, the Comic Collector, uh, he was looking for Batgirl A cover, volume 5, number 23, but he found it. So, and that's what he was looking for. That one has been found. Okay, Big Lion Cat, Avengers Forever, volume 1, Westfield Comics exclusive variant cover. 9.8 CGC for about a hundred dollars. Looks like this. I thought I found this the other day when I was in uh, in a flea market. But it ended up not being this one. <laughs> it looked very similar to this, but it wasn't this one. Okay, Farley's Nerd Cave. Punisher Year One. Volume 1, Number 3 would also take the trade paperback and it looks like this alright getting close to the end guys um, also for Farley's Nerd Cave Punisher Year One Volume 1 Number 4 again would also take the trade uh, paperback and let me get this up here looks like that Awesome looking book. Marvel Me This, Doctor Doom, The Masters of Evil, Volume 1, Number 1. Complete and at least a 7.0 grade. Willing to do some trading if you have it and want to do some trading with him, give him a contact. You know what? I'm sorry. He's not looking for number one. I just happen to remember, because I, I haven't had a chance to print out the new list. He's not looking for one and two. He's just looking for number three. So Dr. Doom, The Masters of Evil, volume one, number three. Completing at least a 7.0 grade. We'll do tr some trading. So number three looks like this one. Okay. And number four... All the same criteria, I think. Yeah, 7.0. Number four looks like this. All right. So there you have it. Let me get a little more light on that so you can see it a little better. All right. So yes, he is not looking for one and two. He's only looking for three and four. All right. Now, 
I did want to update you guys on my contest video, or on my contest, not my video, but on my contest. Uh, I do have a couple more entries, so uh, I'm going to do a little something different here because I want to shout these guys out that have uh, put in videos for my contest, who've entered my contest, but also just want to let everybody know where they're at subscriber-wise, okay? So the Comic Collector uh, is one of my uh, entries. He has 317 subs right now. So if you haven't subbed him up, go over and check him out. He's got a great channel. Uh, Simply Incredible Podcast. Uh, he's got 1,298 subs now, almost at the 13 mark. Uh, he's entered the contest. He's got a great channel too, and him and uh, Boom Boom Comics, they you know do their uh, live streaming at times, and I think they're trying to do that like once a week. Uh, and by the way, I'll just give them a little plug. I, I think the Comic Con they're going to is in two weeks, and I think that Friday and Saturday they're going to be doing live feeds from their hotel, uh, from well, probably from Daryl's. I think he said from Daryl's hotel room. So look forward to that. And again, check these guys out if you haven't uh, haven't checked them out. Boom Boom uh, Comics. I think he's at 211 subscribers. So definitely go over and check him out. He's he done a video today and basically was saying, you know, I haven't done a lot of videos here lately, but he's when when he gets back from the Comic Con, uh, he's wanting to start putting out more content. So uh, be looking forward to that. Okay, Epicurean Eye Relief. He is at 156 subs. So let's go over and give that guy some love and and uh, bring his sub count up. Uh, and he's got a great channel, and you know, he's—I don't think he's been doing it all that long. He's up to 156 subs, but he's got a really not a really decent channel. He's got some decent books too. And Metarog, he's entered my contest as well. 754 subs. I'm surprised he's not much higher because that guy's just got some awesome, awesome stuff, and he knows so much. I, he's one of the most knowledgeable people that I know on YouTube when it comes to comic books. He just knows his stuff. He's way beyond my knowledge. So so I learn a lot from him all the time. Uh, Melody, he is at 388 subs. He has entered the contest. Um, if you haven't checked out Melody's channel, please go check him out, sub him up. Mr. Miracle Comics, he is at 524 subs. He also has a great channel. And he, he's a real nice, you know, soft-spoken kind of guy. And, and he, he has some really good content on his videos. Uh, a lot of fun watching his stuff, too. Okay, uh, another newer one, as far as I'm concerned, he's new to me anyway, is Pages, Films, and Plastics. He has 176 subs, and he's got a really decent channel. I mean, he's got a really, you know, he's got some really great content. And then the last one on here, this is number eight that's entered my contest so far, Unruly Simeon. He is at 80 subs. So definitely go over and get these, uh, get these guys some, uh, some subs going there and, and check out their channels because, like I said, all these channels are great channels and, uh, and have some great content. Awesome books, just, you know, just great stuff. So, you know... Let's show them our uh, community spirit and and get these guys up in their subs and so on. And uh, like I said, if you haven't checked them out, if you haven't subscribed them, definitely worth your time to go over and check all these guys out. All right. Okay, this video is getting much longer than I expected, but uh, I've only picked up three books this week. Of course, with my wife being in the hospital and stuff, I haven't you know had much time to do. A whole lot else which by the way thank you to everyone who has given well wishes and and thoughts and prayers for my wife's surgery her surgery went fantastic um, she I, I, I went and got her today and brought her home today so she had her surgery yesterday came home today and I mean she's been you know uh, walking around doing doing her thing and and uh, coming along really really well 
and she also told me to mention that she really appreciates everybody's thoughts and prayers for her during this time. So anyway, the few books that I did pick up this week, uh, Detective Comics 1004, and I'm sorry, but I do not remember who the artist was for this cover. Man. But anyway, it, it's, a, it's a beautiful book, and I think this is a wraparound cover. I haven't had it out of the package yet, so, <laughs> so, but I think this is a wraparound cover. And then, this week, Batman Last Night on Earth, number one, or book one. And this is a fairly thick book. It's a, it's a square-bound book, and it's one of the DC Black Label books. This is the first issue, and it came out this week, so I think this is going to be pretty awesome. And as you see, he's carrying a lantern with the Joker's head in it. <laughs> so, I haven't had a chance to read it yet, but uh, maybe I'll read that one and do a little review on it or something. Uh, Doomsday Clock number 10 is now out. I picked up this copy. I really wanted to get the variant cover. But the only one that they had at my LCS was damaged on the bottom uh, right corner. And at the top left corner, it had a little pull on it. And I was like, nah, I'm, I'm not going to get that one. Now nah, let me put that back up there. So anyway, that's all I picked up this week so far. So, And I'm probably not going to get out to, to do any shopping this weekend because I'll be helping my wife with uh, you know, getting around and, and getting stuff taken care of for her. So anyway, that's the end of this video. Sorry I kept you guys on here so long, but uh, I, I wanted to go through everything, you know, again. I'll probably go through the entire list. Unless the, if the list doesn't change anymore, uh, the next week or two I may not go through the whole list. But uh, I'll always refer you back to whatever week you know I did the full list so anyway but I wanted to do the full list again this week and uh, and I need to quit rambling so you guys can like go do something else <laughs> alright so everybody have a great weekend and we will see you all next video